first time playing this. Long time. It's alright. I totally won't suck at the game and die five million times. Hello everyone, and welcome to... Shantae! I mean, my timing was, like, the slightest bit off by, like, a second, but, you know what? Fuck it. God, I haven't heard that in such a long time. Uh, but yes, welcome to Shantae, Half Genie Hero. Now, in the trailer, I mentioned that I would talk to you about how I was actually going to do this. I did say that I wouldn't be 100% of the game like I wanted to, but I'll be 100%ing the game. And I'll explain what that means in a second. 26 hours. I still have no idea where the fucking other 18 or so came from. <laughs> like, that's so fucking confusing. Like, maybe it didn't count my time in the menus? Maybe? I don't, I don't fucking know. Oh well. So. Hopefully this doesn't just take me into the main game immediately. Game select? Yes, okay. So. I will be going through every single one of these. Oh god, there's quite a bit. Luckily, not all of them are too long, but still. So, so this is the main story. Everything is normal. We don't have our powers at the beginning. We get upgrades as we go along the way to stop Risky Boots. This is the same thing, but with our transformations unlocked immediately. I don't know about their upgrades because you can't upgrade the transformations, but oh well. This one, this one is the one that I'm most scared about because I don't know anything about it. Like, I don't know what they changed. I don't know if they gave the enemies more health. I don't know if they just gave us less health. I don't know if they made the enemies stronger. I don't know what they did in this, and it sort of terrifies me. And especially seems the fact that it took me... How long did it take me to get through the main game on this one? Nine, ten hours? Nine hours. And it's only going to get harder, so... I'm a bit uh, scared for that future, but next we have Pirate Queen's Crest, where we play in Risky's Boots. Yes, that was a play on words, because I can. <laughs> we just go through their side of the story. While very, very much shorter than the main story, which is ob sort of obvious seems the fact that it's not the main story. It's maybe uh, two or three hours long, from what I can remember. I don't know, but it was a pretty fun time got the whole thing. And this. Oh, fuck you. So, I'm going to explain something. I am looking forward to this game, but at the same time, I fucking hate this game. <laughs> like, I love it to death, but I fucking hate it. Like, not a thing where I actually hate the game, but where I just fucking hate my, at my fucking own skills to, one, be able to talk, and two, be able to fucking play this game, because... Jesus Christ. The most I've ever raged in a video was with Celeste, and that was the last episode, and even then, I didn't really rage all too much. All it was was literally just me making generic rage noises. But with this, I have literally slammed on my desk... I think I threw my controller once. I actually broke the back of my desk because I pulled out my uh, keyboard drawer. I don't know why, but I just did. And it got like jolted in a way where it wouldn't go back in. So I got even angrier and I just fucking shoved that thing back in. And the back of the desk is now forever ruined. So, in other words, fuck this mode. Fuck this mode. This one's pretty fun. Fuck you. This one's also fun. So, <laughs> let's explain this. You play as Sky, Bolo, and Roddy Tops as you go through their own experiences trying to get to help Shantae in a thing that happens in the story later. Jamie's mode. This, I think, was the hardest Shantae part of it. Because all you have is just your hair. You have no upgrades, no magic, just your hair, and that is it. Then there's Officer mode where you get a gun instead of your hair. It's short, and I don't think there's really magic included, because obviously, you don't really need it. Then there's beach mode, which I fucking... Oh, I resent this one. I remember there was a battle that I had a fucking hell of a time with, just because of one of the mechanics of this, and I'll get to that when I eventually get to it. There's ninja mode, which all around just a pretty good time. It's a lot 
more action-packed and fast-paced, which is obvious, seems the fact that you're a fucking ninja. So, <sighs> that's all I wanted to explain. I'm looking forward to this, but not at the same time. And I still have no idea how I'm going to edit this, but I'll fucking will. As the music fades out, let's just get into this before the- God damn it, the music started again. So close. Oh fucking well. <laughs> uh, okay. I forgot about that. Huh? Is someone there? I'm not exactly sure how I'll do voice acting, but, you know. Mm. I'm granted it might not be at all, but, you know. I'll probably still do it. Hello? Uh, <laughs> I forgot that's the sound that they use for crashing. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> She's like a fucking cat! <laughs> oh, I do. Can we cut? Oh. Oh well. I forgot about all the sounds in this game. Oh, god damn it. For this first section, I think we can only just move. We can't actually attack, so. Oh. Man. I'm falling in love with this game all over again. I haven't played it in so long. I don't even remember when the last time I played it was. I think it was like a few months ago, but I'm not entirely sure. You know how much I actually love this game? I fucking, like... I was not depicting, debating, that's the word. I was debating on if I should actually fucking, I was actually debating if I should speedrun the game. You don't understand how much I have to actually care about a game to want to speedrun it. I've never wanted to speedrun anything ever, but this game made me want to. So, you know. You fell asleep in your workshop again. Huh? I've never seen that trapdoor before. I wonder where it leads. Yes, when you can't attack and have no magic, that's definitely the most safe option to do. Yeah. That's just... Perfect. Alright. Uh, I can't remember most of the story. Well, I can remember most of the story, but there are just so many elements that I forget that I'm just looking forward to this. Oh, I'm so fucking excited. Oh, I realize, oh, it's such a fucking pain with the movement in this because of the fact that I don't exactly go straight right to left. Sometimes I crouch instead and that just fucks me up. So, we'll just have to deal with that along the way. Oh, wait. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> that's so stupid. I can't believe that that's an actual thing, but, you know, oh well. I mean, you can literally just, like... I'm glad that they'll just go ahead and kill themselves anyway. As said there. <laughs> it's a massacre. <laughs> oh god. I don't actually know how to play this, because I want to be entertaining, but the other part of me just says, fuck it, let's just play a game. Which is pretty much what I'm basing my channel around, so. Just playing a game. Huh? What is this place? Does Uncle even know it's down here? I hate that whispering. There goes that voice again. Fuck, what do I give, uh... I... Male or female? Please, someone tell me! <laughs> oh god, I was never able to figure this out. Uh, Welcome, daughter of the genies. I mean, it's a bunch of whispers, so, you know. Who said that? Whoever you are, you had better come out right now! Don't be afraid. Why the fuck did the safe state from Deltarune come out of here? And Undertale. Because I'm pretty sure they're actually the same exact sprite. I don't know, but why the fuck is this thing here? What are you? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> I swear that wasn't on purpose. I don't remember much of the dialogue of this game. A messenger from the genie realm. Are you a genie yourself or not? See, these are actual genuine questions from me because I can't fucking remember if this was ever stated. And I don't know, so, you know. I have summoned you here to warn you of a great danger. <laughs> no, no, I will not do it. Very soon an agent of darkness will strike at the heart of our world. <laughs> Alright, I just had to do it once, I'm sorry. It seeks to corrupt our magic and use it for its own selfish gain. With our power at its disposal, this agent of darkness will reign supreme. 
over both our worlds. And no one will escape its wrath. Oh no. That sounds serious. How do we stop it? As a daughter of the genies, only you have the power to do this. Me? But how? Plus, surely genies would be much more qualified to do this than me. I mean, literally, I'm just a fucking half-genie. I only have half the capabilities of a regular genie. Why? I, uh, I will help you where I can. Listen for my voice, and follow your heart, as you always have. Only then can both of our worlds be saved. Wait, don't go! What about my mother? Is she there with you? I accidentally skipped past that because I fucking... Alright, uh, keeping my right hand off of the controller when doing dialogue. I had a bad habit of skipping dialogue in the first time I played through this. Anyways. I can barely hear you. Is she in danger too? Please tell me. Please, I have to know. I does this have to... <laughs> Don't leave me. We're not... What? They're not leaving us. We're leaving them, apparently. <laughs> oh, yeah. I have no idea who the fuck this old man is, but he's a safe state, so... We'll just go with it. Nope. Oh, Already in the time. Boy, oh boy. That was some crazy dream I had. Wait. No more comics book in bed from now on. I knew it. There was a line right here about no more blank before bed. Fucking... I remember something. Yeah. <laughs> and that whole tub of cookie dough ice cream probably didn't help much either. Jesus, Shanzei. I mean, I know you're lonely and live in a fucking lighthouse, but Jesus, a whole tub? Fucking hell. Oh, boy. Oh, well. Now that I'm up, it's time to meet Uncle. Surely it should be C, Uncle, instead of meet. But I guess we are meeting them, so. Oh, well. he's probably at his workshop. Knee deep in gizmos and gugos. I forgot the weird fucking words that they use in this. Oh yeah, that's something later. I... Alright, yeah, I did a circle. I mean, I didn't mean to say it, but oh well. So, I would like to point out that in the trailer, I actually did mention that there's quite a bit of backtracking, but I don't know if that was just a me thing, because I was absolutely horrible at the game the first time I played through it. But, you know, we'll just have to find out. Get that protector genie! I've heard that you can whip monsters with your hair by pressing X. Oh yeah, they're showing Xbox controllers. Fucking hell. I was like... But... That's... That's square, not X. Then I realized... Ah, yep, makes sense. Me? I'm a guard. Alright then. Is that your brother back there, or...? Uh, you can press... I would assume that would be the start button or whatever. To check the sun subscreen, not sunscreen. That's part of the uh, beach mode. Mm. To check the subscreen, fill your pockets with treasures and good eats. Mm. Yep. Oh, I remember this. Oh, this is bringing back memories. Uh, hello, sir. Still have no idea who or what you are, but I have reason to believe you're a mummy. Don't ask why. What voice should I give him? I want to give voices to everyone, okay? The old man who saved your progress. He's always standing over there by the sound gate. It's almost as if he's the first fucking thing that we see other than Chante. Oh, uh, hello. Are you Medusa? Mom always tell me to avert my eyes when you walk by. I have a feeling that's not why. I can unlock it immediately. This is probably why. <laughs> I'm gonna stop doing that in front of the child. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> oh god. I only realized that after I started doing it. <laughs> Alright, there <no. laughs> uh, Looks like the art gallery is closed right now. No relaxing visuals for this guy. Hmm. That's sad. Anyways, who are you? Hey, girl. Press Y to shake those hips. It's triangle, but I already did that in front of a child. Oh, boy. This is the item shop if you enjoy customizing your abilities. I will, because that's where I get most of my upgrades. There's a workshop, but I want to check out a few other things. We can enter there. That's the item shop, if I remember correctly. That's Guy's Hatchery, I think. That's something. The museum, if I remember correctly. Museum? No, museum. Uh, no, this was Guy's Hatchery. This was the, uh, bathing house, and that was the item shop. Alright, I still remember the town. 
Thank fuck. <laughs> It'd probably be a good idea to remember that shit, but oh well. Hello, Uncle. Good morning, Uncle. Mm -hmm. Say, I had the weirdest dream last night. And you could tell me all about it. But first, give your old... Give your old Uncle Mimic a hand, will you? That's gonna kill my throat, I know it is, and I've made a mistake making this as voice, but I couldn't think of anything else that I hadn't done before, so fuck it. Sure, is this something to do with your new invention? You'll see. I've got a mechanical part on back order. Should have arrived today. I spent... Fucking spent? No. I sent your pal Bolo over to the item shop to pick it up. But he hasn't come back yet. That was over an hour ago. And, uh, fucking not anyways. I still can't read. Always his head in the clouds, that boy. Would you mind picking up the parts for me? Sure thing, uncle. Well, we have our first mission. This is probably gonna be very simple, but oh well. And it's a sad thing I know exactly where he is. Hello, Bolo. Bolo? <laughs> what are you doing in the bathhouse? Uncle's waiting for you to deliver us the package. <laughs> Quick, we need to deliver Professor Oak's package. <laughs> Alright, I'm getting sidetracked, sorry. You're in the wrong shop, you numbskull. This woman, she's like a bathroom angel. Oh, good gravy, not this again. Snap out of it! Okay, look away. Never mind, I'll talk to her. Uh. Sorry, I'm just enjoying the music. Good morning and welcome to the bathhouse. A place where you can rejuvenate your body and spirit with the tranquil sounds and scents of hardcore, white knuckle, full throttle, max relaxation. Relaxation, sorry. Normally I'd offer you advice about your quest. But right now... But right now I'm trying to figure where this receipt came from. Whoever delivered that drooling buffoon statue over there must have dropped it. Oh, uh, boy. Anyway, if you're heading to the shop next door, please take this receipt to you. With you. Not to you. Fuck. I'm going to ruin the charm of this game with my horrible inability to fucking speak it. I abuse the English language and not being able to speak it. Again, you'll know what that is in probably February, but oh well. And remember, if you ever lose your way, come and see me for a free hint. I'll probably be asking her that a lot. A lot of free hints, that is. Anyways, to the item shop. Yeah, that was a quick change, doesn't it? Welcome to the item shop. We're open for business in just a few minutes. Oh, you're picking up your... You're picking up for your uncle, then. Just show me the receipt, and I'll fetch it for you. There it is. Sell stuff, not receipt. I... That bugs me the slightest bit that that isn't the same, but oh well. Oh, boy. No, no, I want to let it get to me. I swear I won't. Okie dokie. Let's see here. Yep. Here's his order. It was stuck to this box of hard drives. I... Okay, then. I'm not going to question the technology that exists within this game, but... We'll just move on. Hold on. I'm sorry that I did that dance in front of you. I'll never fucking forget that I did that, and I hate that because I want to forget it. I want to forget the fact that I did a literal fucking belly dance in front of a kid. Which, mind you, belly dances, well, not exactly sexual, very implied. Ah, uh, you have something for me? Sure. Not yes, sure. I could take it for myself, but sure, I'll give it to you for now. Oh, it's here! My magnet has finally arrived! Oh, that's already killing my throat. Oh, fuck. That means it's time to show off my latest invention. What the fuck is that? No, seriously, what is that? I can't remember the name of it. Oh my, what is it, Uncle? Something to help you defend the town. I call it the Dynamo. Dino Meow? <laughs> God damn it. Dynamo! It's a contraption from the old world that I'm attempting to piece back together. Old world? I forgot there was lore to this game, deeper than a lot of games, actually. But, oh well. That magnet you brought me goes right... Here. Like that, you see. 
first off, what the fuck? That thing is bigger than us. Second off, where the fuck did we store that thing? Because we obviously weren't carrying it. Oh fucking well. Once it's sorry. Once it's completed, this machine will generate enough electricity to light up Scuttletown day and night. It'll chase away every monster and pirate within a 10 mile radius. Scuttletown will be safe and sound. And you get to relax for a change. That's amazing, Uncle. When will it be ready? Well, there are still a few components missing, but I'm getting close. Next, I need to add a... Uh, let's see here. Where are my dynamo blueprints? I had them last night, but now they're gone. Did you try looking in the basement? Basement? My workshop hasn't got one. But there's a trap door right in the... I just like the fact that it went to complete fucking silence. And also, you notice chiming in this. Which you normally can't hear because of the music. Interesting. <laughs> oh, it's still gonna kill my throat, but... Ah! <laughs> A Tinkerbat! That filthy pirate just ran off with my blueprints! Don't worry, Uncle. I'll... And things went fucking crazy fast. Was that... Cannon fire? The blast came from Main Street. I've got to go. Under attack. Thankfully, there are some points where I don't have to voice act, so, you know, it's fine. You'll need a ride. Head to Sky's Hatchery, quickly. Yep, off we go. Except this is actually where I'm going to end the first episode. Not my fucking playthrough, but the first episode. Because next time, we're going to get in the actual Main Street. Sorry about that, Sky. I just attacked for no reason. Sky! I heard it. What should your voice be? I just said that without even fucking thinking about what your voice should be. Um, I heard it. Main Street is under attack. I'd give you a ride, but none of my birds is big enough. I'm so glad I chose a fucking country accent for her when she sort of speaks like a country girl, kind of. That is unless... Unless what? Rich, I need you. Ready to show Shantae our newest trick? Mega Wrench Metamorphosis. How did he... Here. Yeah, my question is, how the fuck did the bird get so big? Also, how is it able to go back and forth? That... Hmm, a bird whistle? I'll explain later. Just get on already. And off we go in 3, 2, 1. There we go. Oh, I'm so excited for this. I can't do high-pitched screeches. Oh no! Eek! <laughs> That's the best I can do. Relax. Wrench can stay this size for several seconds. Well, fuck. Seconds? Yeah, my fucking. Just choose a location, and we'll drop you off. Main Street. Here we come. Except next episode. But not for me, because I'm still recording. This is actually one point where I know I will actually be ending this. I don't know when I will do it in another episode, so look forward to. That, I guess, I don't fucking know. I'll see you next time, though. Travel to Main Street? Yep. And here we go! I thought there would be a fade up. There it is. <laughs>